The Red Sox hit the road for an interleague swing. No DH in the National League parks. What does that mean for David Ortiz? Hey everybody, it's Paulie. Welcome back to This Week in Red, where we're talking Red Sox and all things Major League Baseball. So the Red Sox are gearing up for a nine-game road trip through Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and Houston. And that means no DH. As we all know, in interleague, there's no DH in the National League parks. So, of course, this creates a dilemma for manager Terry Francona. What to do with the hot-hitting Big Poppy David Ortiz? Now, in past years, when Kevin Euclid was the first baseman, Francona had the flexibility and the luxury to move Euclid to third base, his natural position, and then move Ortiz into first base, where he does have some experience playing the position. He played it a lot uh, early in his career with Minnesota. So he does have the ability to play first base in a competent manner, and it really gave Francona some flexibility. But now he's got a little bit of a problem, and it's a problem that every manager would love to have. Now he's got Adrian Gonzalez at first base and Euclid over at third. And Gonzalez is a pure first baseman, and you know, the way he's swinging the bat, he's putting up triple crown numbers so far this season. There's no way Francona wants to take him out of the lineup under any circumstance. Now there's been some scuttlebutt in the media this week, and I think part of it was created by Gonzalez going to the media and saying, you know, I told Terry Francona I'd be willing to take a, a glove into the outfield and maybe play some outfield if he wants to get Ortiz some at-bats because we really need David in there and we don't want him sitting for nine games. You know what, Adrian? That's a great idea, and that's being a team player, and I love it as a fan. But to be honest with you, that's not going to be the recipe for success for the Red Sox. And hopefully Francona realizes this. You cannot risk putting your Triple Crown star in the outfield He's unfamiliar with the position. I think he's played one game his whole career in the outfield. You cannot risk that guy getting injured by maybe pulling a muscle or crashing into a wall or maybe making a key error in a game. I think if I'm Francona, i got to play this the right way. Yes, I want to get Ortiz as many at-bats as I can in this series. But you know what? In past years where Ortiz has sat, he's been a devastating pinch hitter off the bench, and that's a weapon that Francona does have the luxury to go to in the late innings if he so chooses. I think that that's the way to go. And also, hey, you can rest Adrian a couple games on this road trip. You know, they've got a game in Pittsburgh coming up. The last game of that, they'll have an off day following that. If you give him that day off, you're giving him two days off, and that's a good way to get him some rest. He hasn't had much this season. Gonzalez loves to play every game. So if I'm Terry Francona, and I know Terry's smart, I, I think he's a great manager, and he, he knows how to manage personnel and lineups. I think that's the way he's going to go. I think he's going to space it out with days off with some of these guys to get Ortiz the at-bats that he needs. Putting Adrian in the outfield, definitely not the way to go. But what do you guys think? If you were Terry Francona, what kind of moves would you make with this dilemma of Ortiz getting into the lineup in these National League parks? I look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red.